Hey everybody, if you're watching the replay, don't forget to follow, not just like. That way it'll notify you when we have a new video or we do go live. Um, try to pull you up on my laptop so I can, um, whoops, wrong one. Um, so I can read your comments over here and I can turn them off on my phone. That way I make sure, hey Sherry, make sure you always say where you're from. Y'all, we had somebody from South Africa on here last night. It was so cool. All right, let's see. Comments. Now, Chris will have to come back in here so I can see your comments. Oh, gosh. No. Um, I think I've done something. Hold on. <laughs> There's a way you can put your comments on the side. I'm going to have to wait till he gets back in here. But please make sure. Uh, hey, Sherry from Ohio and in Tennessee. Come here. Okay. Um, that way he can show me where it is. Okay. Listen, we're going to make a Valentine's thing. And last night, if you didn't watch, we uh, made a really neutral uh, Valentine's decoration. It's not so much has... Uh, Put the comments on the side for me because that way if I don't do it so good, you can see it on here. Now, I just bought these hearts. They're wooden. It's like a wall, raw wood. You can stain it, paint it, anything you want to. They were a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Um, and what we're going to do is, I don't know. Thank you for putting that on the side. That's the only thing I don't know how to do is now get it to the side. Push to the right. <laughs> Somebody said push to the right. I had to get in to come show me. Okay. Thank you so much, Lenore, for sprinkling it. Okay, well, what I did is, I don't know if you remember in like kindergarten or, you know, any kind of like vacation Bible school or something where you did um, the little, kind of like you sewed something together, you know. <laughs> I don't even know how to word this. Well, whatever it's called, um, I'm sure it probably has some kind of name for it. Um, I'm going to take these around the edge, and I want to do three of them. So, even though they came from the same place, but they're not the exact same, I'm going to try to put them on top of each other best I can and see if... All right, looks pretty good now. All right, and what I'm going to do is I want to put holes on these. So, instead of, like, doing each one which you can do that. Um, I'm going to try to do three at one time <laughs> to cut it down. I got a bit, and the bit just depends on what size your jute is. I just kind of held mine up, and I don't want to pull it too tight, but you don't want it the whole way bigger than um, what you're doing. Um, oh, hey, from Missouri, cold Kentucky. See, I'm so ready for it to be. Uh, thank you, Sheila, for... Um, Sprinkling, um, I'm ready for it to be cold here. I wish it was cold Georgia. But we're going to try this once, and I want to try one hole and see if it's ready. Because what I could do is just do all of this one, set it on the next one, do my dots, because I measured it out. And you just have to measure how you want it. I end up doing it a half an inch in from the side, and it's about an inch apart, each one of them. But what we're going to do is after we get that, we're going to kind of make a hanging sign out of it. So let's say if this was on the front, like so. We're going to paint it white. And so that way the jute is going to be around the corners. So it'll just be another project for Halloween that's just a neutral color. You can paint them. Uh, you can buy... The only other jute that I've seen that you can get in rolls is the white. But sometimes I can find black and all that. It's just not very long. And you can get those at um, Hobby Lobby Michaels craft stores. I have not seen the color jute at a Walmart or um, Dollar Tree. They have twine, the color twine. But this is actually, you know, white jute like this. But this is white. I have seen black. I bought black at Hobby Lobby, so if you wanted to, like, maybe paint this red and do the white or paint it white and have red, you maybe would need to look at a craft store for, you know, color twine because I've never, I only bought the, the black that one time, um, but it seems like they maybe had a lot of colors. But um, let's hold these together. 
best we can and see if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna have any luck drilling it straight down. Seems like it went all the way through. So see, we have one at the uh, bottom and it looks like it did good all the way around. I'm probably gonna have a mess when I finish, but um, I think it's gonna be okay. I think it just, it's gonna save you time doing this and making sure that they're all the same, not having to measure each time, because it did take me a little bit to go around and measure each one. What I did the fastest way at the end is I cut a piece of jute off the length that I wanted my holes, and I just set it down and moved it all the way around. But I actually went from one side the other because I wanted it to connect perfectly at the top, even if some holes up here had to be closer together. I thought I saw a newscaster say it was 47 in Georgia. Oh, it, it was, it's cooler, but I mean, it says it was 63 today, but it, I was hot. I had this vest on and a long sleeve shirt, and now we were kind of doing some physical things at the church, putting up Christmas trees and stuff, but it, I got really hot. But it is supposed to be extremely cold this week. You know, I'm looking forward to it. I, I want to wake up and put my coat on, and by the time I get to work, not have to take my coat off because I'm sweating. It's just probably a menopause thing. But all right, so I'm gonna take this around the edge. And I'll tell you having things, if you're ever mess, uh, drilling wood like I'm doing right now, if you see on the back, see how it's splintering this wood, oh uh, gosh. Thank goodness it's the back. See how it's just not really going through and it's splintering it? But the inside ones will do just fine. If you were doing this and say I had an extra piece of wood that I could put on the back right here, it would stop it from doing this little splintering for whatever reason. If you're, it's like a woodworking thing I had to learn the hard way. We were making cornhole boards and I was like, how do you make it where the back just, and, and it said, put another piece of wood on the back of it when you're drilling. Uh, but I've got one more heart, but I really don't want to waste it just putting a lot of holes in it. So I think I'm just going to have to deal with the fact it's going to do that because, um, but it's only going to do it on the back. So we're just going to keep going, but that's just a little tip I wanted to show you. Maybe it's something you can tell your husband, you know, and you can, Act like you know what you're doing when he's doing something, telling him to put a piece of wood on the back of it, and it'll stop it from splintering. But it's really going right through it. At the end, we'll run like a, a little maybe sand block around it, and I don't think we'll have that problem. Oh, in Maine, I bet it's a... Um, really cold up there. Use something like binder clips to hold them together, yes. I thought about that, but listen, I'm just lucky to have all my pain out here, my supplies. <laughs> all right, so we're doing good. No uh, slip ups, no getting too close. Like I said, it's still gonna do that little splintering on the back. I think you can put a piece of tape on the back and it's supposed to help too. Like, I would think maybe something like a piece of duct tape, something that's pretty uh, heavy duty. Heavy duty. She said duty. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and go to the other side. Just to make sure we're keeping it all aligned. And I could have painted this beforehand, but you know, when you have to sand and things could chip, I didn't want to have to go back and touch up any paint because we are painting it. I thought about sanding it and using this off-white to thread, uh, uh, I mean, staining it and then using the off-white, but I think I'm just going to paint it white and use the jute color. I'm just, I really love jute. It's kind of like you get to use burlap in another season besides just the fall. 
Yeah, it kind of gets a little messy, but it's not too bad. I am cutting three pieces though. You could do this on smaller pieces of wood. I would just be really careful and use a smaller bit. Maybe even use the smaller jute twine that you buy at the Dollar Tree in the automotive section. And maybe not something this big. But y'all know I like working with power tools. Cardboard maybe. Yeah, I, I think card, I, well, I don't know. I mean, if tape would help you, cardboard probably would. It is 29 in Maine. It is supposed to be in the 30s by the end of the week. Now that's at nighttime. But I think by tomorrow morning, it's supposed to be, cool off even more. Like tonight in the middle of the night in the, in the 40s and then by tomorrow morning in the 30s. So it's supposed to cool off here. The thing with, with Georgia that I just, I can't stand is it's not gonna last. Um, you know, two weeks from now, it's allowed to get back up in the high 60s or 70s, and it's just, it's hell on my sinuses. I mean, they drain, and then I get sinus headaches from the temperature changing. If it would just stay one temperature, and you just go ahead and say, okay, it's gonna just stay hot, and you're used to it. Like right now, I'm like white as a sheet. I can't like break out shorts or short sleeves again. I look crazy, which I look crazy in it now, but I'm going to make the hole right here is the hole for the little hangers that came in it. And it's a little bit smaller. So I'm actually going to go back through those and make them just a little bit bigger. But, um, hey, from Pennsylvania. Hey, Dolores. Yes, it's very hard on sinus van. Yes, I'm, I'm just... I, I, I despise it, especially when it starts going back and forth to extremely cold. And if the humidity comes out, it, it, it is really bad on my sinuses. The sinus headache, the pressure is awful. Okay, my phone looks like it is about, of all the things I didn't do is plug my phone up. Let me plug it up so it won't die. Y'all know how I do not. <laughs> We've been doing so well with it, uh, not freezing up that much and everything else. Okay, two more. Oh, hold on, and then I have to do the original. Well, no, I'm not two more. A few more. All right. And I would say, even if you clamp this, I would still check it every time to make sure. Okay. I'll have to be careful with those little holes. They put them really close to the edge and I don't want to break it because that's where we're going to put our hanger. Yeah, but even if you clamp it, I would check it almost every time because, you know, it's going to move just a little bit, especially going through three. There we go. Now that was the end. Now, like I said, the back isn't going to be so pretty. You know, it had like some pieces come off, but you won't be able to see the back. Ooh, now I've got that all over me. Okay. All right, so let's look at the first one. Our top one is gonna be probably our best one. And don't forget, this did come from the Dollar Tree, so it is a thin piece of wood. I mean, it almost looks thinner than even Luan. I mean, it's like super, super thin. I'm wearing my shorts every day. You know I have that built-in heater. I do too. And I guarantee you, if I had like a good tan and I was skinny, I think I would <coughs> wear shorts all the time. Because people going through the change, which I have been going through, I went through it early. So I started when I turned 40 and I just turned 46 a couple weeks ago. So this is what fixing to start my sixth year. So I'm kind of used to being hot all the time, but it's, it's just like your body temperature is just hot all the time. I don't flash as much anymore unless maybe I'm laying in the bed, you know, something about getting your heart level, whatever. I get really hot in him. 
But if I could just stay in a cool environment, then I'm fine. But, oh gosh, if it gets like really hot and there's like no wind, air, or if I'm not moving, and you know, in, in the south, you have that humidity where you, you can't even get in the shade and you have any sort of relief. So, um, yes, I pay an extremely high electricity bill in the summer, but I always say I'm making up for it in the winter time because I really could, I really don't have to turn the heater on. I mean, I do get cold. If it gets like 60 or below in here, I get cold, but you know, I can put some socks on, a pair of, you know, uh, pajama pants or something, you know, and I'm fine. My kids are walking around with hoodies and beanies on their head and talking about how they're just going to die because they can't warm up. I'm like, I would trade with you any day. I would love to be cold versus being hot. I thought you were going around flashing people when you said I don't flash anymore. No, I meant like I don't really have those flashes of heat anymore. Or maybe I've just gotten used to them. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't mean that I flash people. I feel like it. Um, but it's just awful. And then, of course, I would be that lucky person that goes through menopause early. And, you know, I thought myself that, you know, just your assumptions, which are always wrong, is that if you go into menopause early, that means you'll come out of it early. Oh. Not the case. It means I'm just gonna, you know, keep having it until maybe. I have a friend that's like 52, and she said, I think maybe I might be coming out of it. And I'm thinking, I mean, there is there an end? Because then you talk to some people that are like 65, and they're like, I'm still hot all the time. And I'm like, how do old people retire to the, you know, to the beach? I'm thinking I'll probably be the only person in the history of the world who retires to Alaska. I mean, I really look forward to getting sunburn in the summer, so I'll get the chills. <laughs> Everybody's like, put some more sunscreen on. I'm like, no, I want a blister. Then I'll, maybe I'll get the chills. <laughs> that just crazy thinking, but I have thought that before. Oh, uh, from Michigan. I'm almost 63, still have them. Oh, gosh. See, I mean, that's what I'm like, you know, you think if, if I had them early, okay, this back is going to be probably a little bit more is going to come off, but not too bad. And nothing looks like, you know, it. you can see any of it from the front. So, it did okay. It just had like a few little long pieces come off. Well, here it is on this side, the long pieces. But uh, it still has like a good hole. And like I said, this will be the front and it's fine on the front. They stay in the AC. I am 70 now and still those flashes every so often. Oh my gosh. Okay, well maybe I'll, that's what drugs are for. You know, I'm scared to take it. You know, because I really had almost broke down. I was like, I'm not going to take the hormones because people, late women from hundreds of years have been making it through it. I'm, you know, it won't be the end of the world if I have to um, just be a little hot. Because really, that's the only thing. If I can just stay cool, I'm okay. Nothing else really bothers me. Um... And I almost broke down. I was just so sick of it. I was like, okay, I'm going to get these pills. And then one of my friends uh, got breast cancer and it was like hormonal. And so I was like, you know, uh, you know, I, I surely don't want on the top of having heat, have something like that happen to me. So I was like, I'm just going, you know, I've stuck it out now for five years. It, it, maybe if it's just another five years, <laughs> I'll uh, do that. So... All right, I did bring my Jenga blocks out because I want, I'm trying to think of which is the prettiest one on the top. I do want to make them kind of dimensional. And we kind of made one of these with the Christmas trees. I don't know if you remember. And I'm trying to put this on each other so 
it will be on two. I may just have to um, drill one more hole because they're not gonna. That's not gonna be perfect. All right, so I've got this one right here. It's the same. Let me do one more right here. Okay. All right, I already have my glue gun hot. I take, well, for it's an old med that's used for different things. Well, Pam, does it work? Because a lot of people, y'all are telling me, take these medicines, and then y'all saying y'all still have hot flashes. So are the ones that are still having hot flashes ones that don't take medicine? Because if I'm going to take a medicine every day, I want it gone. Um, I started around 36. Oh, gosh, Diana, I started early, too. Everybody was like, you you just think you're going through it. You know, you're not. Because I've always kind of been a little uh, hot-natured. But I was like, you know, no, this is something different. I've always been hot, and I was like, I promise you, this is different. All right. I'm just going to put some wood glue on it. But remember, they throw some E6000 on it if you maybe want to hang it from your door. I would just say give it that extra little bond that you could put a lot of weight on it. And maybe if the wind beats it a little bit, I'm not going to put this outside, so... I'm just gonna use good old hot glue. But if you don't have any E6000, I'll tell you, working with these boards, they're raw, so some of the wood gets in some of the little wood pores, and it's so thin, it usually really bonds well. I've tried to pull some of these apart before, and it's ripped them, so you're getting a good bond with just your hot glue. Okay, what I did was, for the purpose of lacing it up, I made where this hole and this one right here will match. I probably didn't so much have to do these two right here, I mean these three, but um, it's gonna be covered up in the center by this one, so you wouldn't see it anyway. So I'm not gonna, you know, I wouldn't try to work out which holes you don't need in the center. All right, so now we're gonna take our, well, let's paint it first, yeah. Yeah, getting ahead of myself. And I'm just getting plaster. Um, I don't want a stark white. I really don't like the stark white on anything. Um, and this is not really an off-white. It's that plaster color from Waverly. You get it at Walmart. A good drop cloth co cover is good. Um, in, what do you call it? Uh, Dixie Belle is called drop cloth. It's a good color too. And I'm just going to put this in on here because I need a lot. I brought there they are. Just put your shorts on. They want to, I am menopause, baby. <laughs> it, you have a menopause, baby? Is that what you said? Because, you know, I thought that was over with. It does get better. Started at 50. I was... Make norm, back to normal at 60, I know, lucky me, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just, nothing bothers me but being hot. Like I said, I've always been a tad hot nature, so I'm probably worse than most people um, who go through just a regular menopause because even some of my menopause friends think my house is like a meat locker. I'm like, but you feel good in here, don't you? <laughs> Doesn't it feel good to wear your winter winter clothes to somebody's house and you're not just roasting? I mean, there's a lot of people's house I have to leave because I'm just miserable. And I hate that. And I'm never going to ask somebody for them to be miserable. Um, but yeah, being hot is no fun. I mean, being cold, I know some people are like, oh, the cold, probably you live up north think I'm just sound like a crybaby, but clothes, you can put on clothes. There's a lot of things you can do to when you're cold, but when you're hot, there, there's only so many clothes you can take off and then it gets inappropriate. And you know how you see that some people, they wear flip-flops all the time. Like a, usually a man can get away with that. I probably would wear flip-flops all the time, like I said, if I wouldn't get so white in the um, in the wintertime. And, and Chris bought me a, for Christmas a couple years ago, one of those spray tan boots, which I really love. But, I mean, sometimes I just, I'm too darn lazy to even do that. <laughs> you 
Now, if you're gonna do this as a lean-to or a hang, you don't have to paint the back. I always worry about painting the back on stuff, but tonight, I'm not gonna do it. But everybody's been sending me pictures on crafts that they have done you know, with the hearts last night or yarn, wrapping it around stuff. And y'all, they have been adorable. I just feel like it's something back here that I would use, like next year, I would take that out and use it. If it has colors on it, like I said, Valentine's hasn't always been a big thing for me. So I feel like if it really didn't match, the things in my living room, I would probably, you know, not use it again. But I feel like these hearts are really cute. Like, you could throw them in a basket with just some pine cones, like, you know, just to give it that, like, rustic outdoor, too. I, I really love these hearts. All right. 67, I still have hot flashes, but not as many. I am 61 and not yet with menopause. Well, Diane, did you have kids late? My daughter said menopause could last 10 to 12 years. I used to sweat even from my elbows. I hated menopause. Yes. I, um, I, don't, I don't sweat as much because, like I said, I mean, I'm keeping my house cold. I mean, I have the guy that does our air conditioner. He's like... I don't know how you keep your house 67 when it's the humidity's over 100. I'm like, because I don't, I don't ever let it go down. I mean, I'm like, shut that door. Yeah, I mean, I was probably, I'd go without food before I'd go without my air conditioner. And then when you're overweight, you can't, like, just wear just some tank top, inappropriate clothes, stuff falling all out of it. Yeah, that's why I told Chris, if anything should be an incentive for me to lose weight, it's so I can wear less clothes. Because, <laughs> you know, nobody wants to see all this out of my clothes. That's why I said y'all would let me run the air conditioner. Hold on, I need to get this side over here. Or you're, you know, when your boyfriends come over, I'm going to bust out my tank tops and not going to care. They'll just have to realize I'm hot. I would not, I, I'm not kidding you. I seriously would not turn my heat on. Because here, I mean, the eye weather just goes up and down. So even if it gets really cold in here, I mean, the next week it's going to warm right back up. So... in early 20s. See, I had my children when I was 22 and 23 years old. Uh, Spokane, all right, me too. Uh, history right now, 28. Yeah, I had uh, my children 22 and 23, so I always thought maybe that's why I went into menopause early because, you know, if you don't lose it, use it, you lose it. And I had kids at such a young age, but I think when I looked it up on the internet one time, there's a few things that can throw you into menopause, like you know, the hereditary part, which none of my sisters did. Um, but um, also obesity, and, and I am overweight. So I, um, I always kind of thought, you know, you know, maybe it was my fault that I threw myself in it early. I didn't, I don't know. All right, we're just going to paint this. And, you know, listen, I always say, you know, if you see an idea, if you do like the Valentine's Day colors, the red, the pinks, you can do different shades of red. You can decoupage um, fabric or, you know, paper on here, buffalo check. Because it's really, you know, nowadays, you know, with your decorations, you know, buffalo check, black or white or red or black, you can use for any holiday. Um, the, the heart shape is all you need to make it uh, something for Valentine's Day. So, you can really 
put anything. I mean, a, a, a black and white, and then the jute on here, the buffalo check, and then the jute would, to me, look really cute, too. Let's see. My sister-in-law, she texted me this morning because she saw where somebody from South Africa was watching on here. Hot spicy foods make it worse. Oh, she don't tell me that because I love like Texas pea and stuff like that. So probably that's probably why I make mine worse. Someone told me, my mom, she didn't have it, but she said one of her friends told her when she was going through menopause that sugar made hers really bad. And I can tell that happens to me. Like, even if I put artificial sugar in, like coffee, I don't think it's just the coffee, because if I get an iced coffee, which probably has, like, just real sugar in it, I can tell my cheeks will get real red, especially a glass of wine, something with sugar in it. My cheeks will get real red. Um, and so I'm thinking I'm one of those people that I can't have really sugar. My heart root is a natural part. It helps with the hot flashes. I used it when I started this mess when I was around 50. So it helps black. Is that something you just, you said it's like a, a natural product? Maybe I'll look it up on the internet and order me something. Yeah, anything with hormones. I don't really have any kind of cancer in my family or anything like that, but I surely don't want to push it. Because it seems like around my age is when, like, if you're going to get breast cancer, normally that's when you do. All right, let's see. All right, so we can get this back out. And I don't mind if a little paint gets on my jig. I'm going to start this at the top of where, like, See if we're gonna put our hanger on this one we'll put our hanger on this this one so it really doesn't matter where you start or stop here because I'm gonna try to make it where it goes all the way around you know my holes just go in and out um, just like you were if you were sewing so let me put a little bit of of course I put too much hot glue on the end of this so I can almost like catch it and at a point. Because sometimes with this jute, because it's pieces of fabric, like by the time I get around to the edge, I probably will have to cut this a couple of times because if it starts unraveling a little bit, you need, um, but I don't think you could bend this in like a needle. So um, I'm gonna pull several pieces. Uh, long piece through it. All right. That way I don't have to pull but so much. Let's see. We're going to go down and up. Just like we're sewing. Now you could distress this around the edges if you wanted to. You can wait to the end and see what it looks like. Um, but I'm at the end. Been 10 years eating better does help, but I love my sugar. Yes, I. when I do like a carb free or low carbs, I can tell mine gets better. But then this past summer, it seems like I was watching somebody that was doing the keto diet, and this person was really skinny. And they were all of a sudden, I don't know if they were maybe just starting menopause and it happened to be coincidence at the same time. But she was like, I'm not, I don't know how you deal with these hot flashes. And somebody said, well, I heard that keto or low carb can make, you know, hot flashes either come on or happen or whatever. I've never heard that, but she was saying hers was just awful. And she was doing like really good. Like this wasn't just a diet that she, she was cheating on. She was doing really good. Um, so I don't know. I, I hope that's not the case. Sometimes when I do low carb and cut out the sugar, um, I can tell mine are better. But you know, I'm, a, I'm not a huge fruit 
I, I eat a lot of fruit, but I'm, I, it's not my go-to. I'm a huge vegetable eater, so it's hard for me to go low-carb. I can do it, but that's what I miss is all the um, vegetables, all the things you should be eating. But Now, don't get me wrong. I can eat junk with the best of them, but I do love my vegetables. I'm a country girl like that. <laughs> like, there's nothing like a good tomato sandwich in the summer. Imagine not being able to eat a tomato sandwich. And I'm not even a huge bread fan, but that's just like, it's like you can't be from the South unless you eat a tomato sandwich. Uh, it's going in and out. All right, let me make sure. All right, I should be charging well enough. Let me turn off. The brightness of the light. Let's see. Go to Walmart for hot flashes. It works. <laughs> Go to Walmart. Uh, I don't understand that because our Walmart is kind of like our Sam's here. It's hot in there. Have you ever noticed that? And I don't, maybe it's just in Augusta. Oh gosh, that it's like that. I did that wrong. Y'all running my mouth. Um, you go in there and it's so hot. I don't know if it's all those lights in Sam's. But it, it never fails. And you know, when you go in there in the wintertime, you're going to have like a coat on or a long sleeve shirt. And I mean, I'm coming out of everything. Like I would have to come out this vest and I'm like, I'll look at them. But even the employees always say it's so, it's always hot in here. I mean, it, it doesn't matter what the temperature is outside. It's always hot in Sam's. Main thing also, love tomato sandwiches, really popular here in the summer. Really? I would think that would just be a southern thing. But, because, you know, we have to have it with mayonnaise. And you have to have it with Duke's mayonnaise, too. Um, but y'all have to tell me, too. I didn't know this until once I was at my mother-in-law's house. And she doesn't peel her tomato before they eat a tomato sandwich. So like on Facebook several years ago when I learned this, I was like, you know, listen, am I the only person, is my family the only person, people that peel their tomatoes? And then you slice them up and put them on, you know, even if you're just eating sliced tomatoes, we peel them. And some, it was about 50-50. I probably had 100 people comment on it. And, and half of them were yes. Half of them was like, it really doesn't matter. You know, no. But, um, yeah, so you're saying you don't peel them. Oh, my gosh. I don't even think I could eat a tomato sandwich. Maybe it would be all in my head. But got to be with Duke's mayonnaise. And it has to be peeled. But I guess that's weird because like little cherry tomatoes and things like that, I eat those all the time. And, you know, I don't peel the little tiny ones. Maybe their skin isn't as tough either. Tomatoes with, be with best foods as well. Let's hear. Here it's Hellman's. No peeling here just when canning. Yes, you got to do that when they're canning. Uh... Hellman's, mm, Duke's girl. <laughs> oh, they have the little squirt bottle too, which makes it so much easier when you're making your tomato sandwich. <laughs> we don't peel it. Oh, Sheila, you don't peel my daddy's um tomatoes. My dad eats banana sandwich with mayonnaise, tomato sandwiches with mayonnaise too. He was raised just in Alabama. What is that? Uh, in Alabama. Quite country. Yeah, I've never heard. But have you ever heard of a tomato sandwich? I mean, no, no. I mean, a uh, um, banana sandwich with mayonnaise. No, I've heard of one with like peanut butter and cinnamon. Yeah, she said she's heard it with peanut butter and cinnamon, but no, I've never heard of bananas with, but I don't want to knock it because anytime I always try to tell Buffy pizza is good. Um, to try something you know don't say you can't eat it just because it's uh, you never tried it please don't be a knot okay
but ooh, she's saying he's from Alabama and they're quite crunk. Loved banana sandwich. But Jan, do you put, um, I love bananas, love banana, any kind of smoothie, put banana, my husband loves put bananas in any kind of cereal. Laugh out loud, not even when he makes his own, he doesn't peel them. Ah, uh, sliced pineapple with Well, I'm trying to think, what is that like dessert that's um, pears and you put the little dollop of mayonnaise on it and then a cherry on top of it? It has like an old school name. It's kind of like tomato aspect. When my mother's generation dies, tomato aspect will die with her. The only people I ever hear, oh, I love tomato aspect, are people my mother's age. Banana sandwiches are the bomb. Okay, but Dolores, do you eat it with mayonnaise on it? Peanut butter with, yeah, I could do the peanut butter with bananas. That would probably be really good, but mm, I don't know about the mayonnaise. I, it, it'd have to be a mistake. <laughs> yes, with mayo, and I am from South Georgia. Duke banana sandwich. <laughs> We just, I'm going to have to try it. It'll probably make me throw up just to think about it, but I'm going to try it because there are a lot of people when I say tomato sandwiches and they're like, that sounds like the grossest thing in the world and it's one of the best things in the world to eat. So I'm going to try the banana sandwich, y'all. Peanut butter. Yes, ma'am. Even with the, okay, well, I'm, I'm trying it. I'll, I'll give y'all my report back. Maybe I'll do like a little, uh, since I don't have a whole lot of Valentine's Day ideas. <sighs> um, a little, let's try these, these different kind of sandwiches. Pears, yeah, shredded cheese and a cherry. What is that called, Sheila? Because it's called something. Um, it's kind of like tomato. I don't know if y'all know what tomato aspect is. Tomato sandwich with, with peanut butter. No. There's no way that peanut butter tomatoes are good. You missed a hole on the corner. Don't tell me that. I sure did right there. At least the other one, y'all look. She's talking about right here. The, the, the first one is going to cover that part up, so I'm not fixing to undo it and have y'all waiting on me forever. You will love it. I'm going to try it. Pear salad. There you go. With dill pickles. Ah. No, I'd have to try that too. Peanut butter with dill pickles, y'all. Y'all, I'm going to go back on these comments and write all these down, and this is what I may do. I may go to the grocery store tomorrow, and we'll do a test on it. We call it pear salad. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know if y'all know what tomato aspect is. It's that, like, tomatoes, like, juice or, or like, B8 in a... Jello mold with olives. I love everything in it. I love any kind of tomato soups, V8 juice, olives. I love everything in it, but there's just something about congealed tomato sauce. Tomato aspect is just the worst. But if my Aunt Nancy was still on here, she would tell you she loves it. My mama loves it. Every lady here my in my mom's age in Waynesboro, you can't have any kind of luncheon without tomato aspect and it's so gross ambrosia salad now that's what you call it when the shredded cheese is on it did you buy the heart yes linda i bought both the uh, all three of the hearts at the dollar tree it, they just came the plain um raw wood where you can stain it or you can paint it it wasn't the pressed um um, wood that sometimes you can get the little wood pieces that are just like a really pressed cardboard. They were real wood pieces. Um, and, 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 and we took, if you'll go back and look at the beginning of the video, we, t we set them on top of each other to save time. And I'd already marked an inch apart and a and half an inch from the side, but you can really use your own measurements. If you have the time, you could do them really close together. You can use a smaller um, jute. I just felt like these whole th this distance and worked out really good for the size jute that I um, picked out. But we'll have to do that. No ambrosia is different fruits in, in it and coconut. Okay, um, I had forgotten about the shredded cheese. I just went there today and they were sold out of a lot of things. Listen, Marie. Um, they had only put it out Sunday here. 
and every bit of the, the what do you call it, the ribbon, because they had some really cute ribbon. And I will admit, if I think I'm gonna get a lot of something, I'll go on Dollar Tree's, um, like in the fall for their ribbon, when we were doing just a lot of crafts. I went on their, their um, website, Dollar Tree, and bought like their entire line of fall ribbon. I got 36 pieces, so it cost me $36. If I think I'm gonna, like I've never went in there and picked up the whole tray of something. If I, if I thought I was going to get a lot, I almost did that. I was like, you know, I'll just probably order this because I think the Valentine's Day ribbon was like 24. You got like five different ribbons and they were like maybe three or four, five, six in each one, whatever that comes out to be. I almost bought it. Then I was like, you know, there's not really a lot of Valentine's Day. I uh, think I may do size maybe a couple of ribbons. And, you know, next year it'll be all different. But yes, yeah, somebody obviously had come in there and bought a lot. Now, they probably had lots of these hearts. I did buy four, but they had a ton. They had them all the way out on there. They probably had 30, 40 left. But um, a lot of things were already gone. But sometimes our um, Dollar Tree tends to get a limited amount of something. They don't restock. I don't know what that's about. Um, it's like they sell out of it and that's it. Did your mom make the asparagus congealed salad too? I love my mom. She's always made it. No, I don't think I've had, the, unless the, you're talking about they put asparagus, because I think that uh, tomato aspect, you can put a lot of things in it. Like all the stuff you put like in a Bloody Mary, I think I've seen everybody put all kind of stuff like that in their, um, let's see. This is probably, I'm probably gonna have to have two coming out of one. Mm, let me see how this is gonna work. All right, evidently I'm running into a odd thing, but I think this is gonna be covered up. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my pineapple salad with mayo is good too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Ground bologna with tomato slices from the garden. <laughs> I don't know about bologna. I used to eat bologna sandwiches with my daddy when I was little. He loved them um, with mayonnaise and like everything. And then Chris went, I don't know, was it Chris? Maybe that was dating. I think I need to make this hole a little bit bigger. Oop, nope. Catching the jute in there. All right, let's see. All right, well, I cut my jute a little bit, but maybe that'll make it where I can put this other one through here. Um, he used to, somebody used to fry their bologna. I get it real, like I make a grease on it. I think the only reason why I ate bologna is because my daddy ate bologna. It's nothing I've ever bought for my kids. All right. That's going to have like a little double line right there, but I'm hoping maybe my other heart, when I put it in the center, yeah, will cover up that part. So, I mean, you can probably see where yours will go, and you don't necessarily have to... Um, uh, do the pieces. I just wanted it to have one continuous piece. All right, so I'm just going to cut that close to it. Then we're going to get our Jenga blocks, and I'm not going to worry about staining those or painting them because where I'm going to put those, you won't be able to see it. But Chris does not eat mayonnaise at all, so he couldn't be my tester for our sandwiches. He does not eat condiments. Our Dollar Tree manager says they don't order that get whatever they they send them. Yes. He loves a bologna sandwich which made as we fry ours at times. Pears with mayo cheese. Y'all, I don't do the ambrosia. Let's see what number we have right here. Six. I hate to open a whole nother box, but I'm thinking I'm going to have to. Fried bologna with mustard is great. I hate mayonnaise, too. <laughs> Lynn, Chris, he, he doesn't eat any condiments. He wouldn't eat mustard. He doesn't eat 
Um, I think he sriracha sauce, any kind of peppers. Like he likes, he says he hates tomatoes, but yet he loves salsa, <laughs> um, spaghetti, but he doesn't eat any kind of raw tomatoes, but he doesn't eat any kind of condiments, but set price up. No mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, anything like that. Like once a friend of mine, they make mayonnaise bread. I wish Jennifer would be on here. They grilled it. They put mayonnaise on the bread and they put it on the grill. And he loves bread. So he was just tearing that up. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you know, he was like, what is this bread? It's so good. And I mean, I'm over there behind him like this, like, please don't. And she goes, oh, it's mayonnaise bread. You should try it. So, of course, then he's like, and even though he was loving it. All right. I think I want them two apart. But if it looks better, the dimensions, I'm trying to think if three would be too much. Exaggerate. I'm not exaggerating. You really were grossed out. He's in here saying I'm exaggerating, and I'm not. I think two is enough. <laughs> and you may not, like I said, this is so light. You may not even have to do four little groups like this, but I'm just going to do it to um, give it a little bit more stability. You don't have to put very much glue on these. They, It's like a good little raw wood. And I'll tell you something that I do love. I don't, I don't know if you ever pick up the Jenga blocks and they're like two different colors. I like the darker ones, but I don't always use those a lot. But this whole pack, I happened to find packs that were like the whole raw, not the multicolored ones. I don't know if we just lucked out and got that. Hey, Gail from Tennessee. Oh, Gail, you are Miss uh, Dale's friend. My husband hates condiments he has a food palette of a four-year-old <laughs> mine too lynn mine too my man's got a good palette <laughs> got a palette of a four-year-old i love that lynn you always have the best sayings yeah he said yeah 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 lynn is the one that said man that's great for chris and i's little uh, diy thing but, uh, Lynn, I think I've decided that I like, um, man, this is easy. Because we kind of want to rate it for people like a home DIY thing on if, you, if couples can do this. Like, how easy are they? Okay, so I'm not going to glue it yet. So, um, because I'm going to, we're going to thread it first, but I just want to make sure. I think that looks really good, like to be multi-dimensional. I don't think you need more than two. It still gives it that look that they're not right on top of each other, but you can use as much as you want. I just really don't want you to be able to see in this inside and you can't. So that worked out really great. One of my sons likes ketchup, but won't eat tomatoes. Oh yeah, Chris doesn't eat tomato. He loves salsa especially if i make homemade salsa he loves spaghetti all that kind of stuff but yeah he doesn't eat tomatoes okay i want to start this at the top and i'm actually not going to start on the hole that they provided because it's a little kind of close into each other i want it since this is wider i'm probably going to do the one right beside it just gives it a little bit more width um so it doesn't look like my hanger is way too small in the center for um, tomato sandwiches all the bit. Yes, tomato sandwiches you cannot beat. Cannot beat a tomato sandwich. They're like the best snack. Great grandson four, he say no, no, if he doesn't like anything. Yeah, Chris, um, and my girls, Buffy does now, but when she was, when they were little, if you took them through like McDonald's to get them those little tiny cheeseburgers, and you know, it's not a whole lot on it. It's just a little bit of mayonnaise and not mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, maybe a couple of little onions. You know, you take them through there at the time, they were on like 60 cent. They'd be like the perfect little snack. Well, because Chris could not stand to wipe it off even their mouth he started getting their sandwiches with no condiments. So then they started saying they didn't like mustard and ketchup and all that. But now Buffy has come back 
since then, which y'all, that really isn't bad. If you do like around the edge, that really is cute, but we got to do like we've done all the rest of it. So then they started telling me they didn't like condiments. Chris. Why are y'all whispering in there? Have you tried man mayo cake? No, mayo is great on corn, on the cob. Yes, and you put it on the grill. I've seen that. I've not tried it, Diane, but I have seen it. Y'all, maybe we get bored. If I can find like a recipe one night for something none of us have tried, maybe we'll do that one night. We'll cook something. My husband has a Traeger, so we love to put stuff on the Traeger cooking outside. But, um, but no, I've never tried mayonnaise cake, but I bet it's good. Is it kind of like a, a pound cake, like sour cream pound cake or something like that? But you do like a mayonnaise. My aunt used to make us tomato sandwich with mayo, cheese, and onion and tomatoes, of course. Um, I don't know. I probably could eat the, the onions. I like onions raw, cooked, any way you can get an onion too. Um, the cake is really moist. You don't even, uh, know it is in there. I bet you can't, because when you eat, like, a sour cream pound cake, I mean, it's not, like, to me, like, it tastes like sour cream. So, I bet you mayonnaise is really good. Because, I mean, basically, what is mayonnaise? Oil and eggs, pretty much. Mexis, Mexican street corn. Oh, my God. I'm gonna have to try that. I've seen it. You know, like, you scrolling down on Facebook, and some people share a recipe. Seems like that's where I saw a good recipe like that, where you put that all over corn. That sound. Does he like, he does like sour cream, Rachel. He'll eat any kind of dairy. It's just condiments and vegetables. Like if there's, besides like jalapenos, peppers, he really likes, not like a bell pepper, but any kind of hot pepper. Um, he, he eats stuff like that, but he does not eat vegetable. He does not eat anything healthy. I think the only vegetable he eats is corn and potatoes. Like she said, a pallet of a four-year-old. I mean, that, you could not have said a better name for the way he eats. Um, because that's exactly what it is. And his mom and dad aren't like that. They eat really good. I guess it's just some kids don't like that, but... But my older, the older she gets, she, unlike her daddy, I think she's trying new things, and she eats more. Like, she really likes onions now, even though that's weird for her because she's got a palate of a four-year-old, too. She's worse than Chris. She won't eat regular potatoes. Thank goodness she loves fruit and sweet potatoes because she doesn't eat anything green, either. My mom would put mayo in her chocolate cake for moisture. Girl, as long as it's Duke's... <laughs> But but really, I mean, if I get desperate, um, I'll eat anything. And for a lot of mayo eaters, my friends on here, I don't know about other types of mayonnaise, but the olive oil dukes taste just the same. Even on like a tomato sandwich when, when the um, mayonnaise, like you can really taste it. And it's supposed to be better for you. It tastes exactly the same. So if you see it, our local Walmart here, they had it when it first came out. And now the only one I think you can get is maybe like Hellman's or that have the olive oil here. But um, I don't know about the other ones. But Duke's tastes exactly the same. So if you want to eat a little bit healthier, the Duke's uh, with the olive oil is really good. Puts mayo in her chicken and then bakes it delish. Yeah, you, I mean, you probably can't go wrong with any kind of may mayonnaise. Okay. This is where we want our hook over here. So I'm thinking if I go over here. Okay, I got to the hole on the other side that I want to use. And so I think I'm going to cut that. I think I'm gonna um, thread this this one through, and either I can keep on going with this one. Hold on, let me try this. Here, okay, go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 
down. Okay, so we're gonna be good. Okay, so this one we're gonna connect to this side, but this one we're gonna keep on going. But since now I cut it, I need to put a little bit more of this on it. It's just starting to kind of come out a little bit. But yeah, we'll have to do that, y'all. I'll have to get up because the, the ambrosia now, I, I'm thinking that all that sounds so familiar. Um, but the, I just don't know about mayonnaise with fruit. Maybe that's what I'm not really liking because I know what, isn't tomatoes considered a fruit now because it grows on a vine or on a tree or something? Okay. Ooh, that came off, but glad it's so close to the edge. That's the one I had problems with earlier. Um... Maybe it's mayonnaise with fruit. I'm sitting here trying to think if there's anything that I would eat mayonnaise with. I don't know. It almost sounds like, you know, like a vegetable. I could eat them with anything. I really like vegetables and hot sauce, like french fries or something. I'm a really hot sauce person, but I'm going to quit eating it if y'all said that spicy stuff can make. Because I can't really take a lot of spicy food, but I do like, uh, like, um, the red sauce in certain things, but I'm not using it anymore. How about vinegar and pepper? It's kind of hot. Is that considered like going to make my hot flashes worse? Bread, mayonnaise, yumpki. Oh, okay, hold on. Mayo and fruit is good. That's what I'm thinking. I, I don't think it's my favorite. That's why I think like with the pears, especially cheese and fruit. I don't know about cheese and fruit. So maybe it's just that that I can't do. Um, okay, this is going to work out good. So I'm going to put this. Okay, we're back kind of to the same place. I'm going to use this long string to do my um, hanger at the top. And so this one, I can go through this same hole. It's kind of tough to get them through. So maybe just one you'll have to do bigger, like, like so. And then I'm going to tie this off in the back. Not too bad. You see, it's kind of time consuming. Ooh which I was a little late getting on here, but we're right at an hour now. Cause I think I got on here at 40 minutes after and you know, I've been trying to just hold y'all up an hour. And I, yes, she made garland yesterday. Um, okay, yes, she made the garland. Yeah. Oh, somebody asked me a question. I'm so sorry, they're they just flying up there. I'm missing them. Um, but yes, the back in here we made yesterday. Something neutral, neutral colors where you don't have to use so much. Don't think I'm going to want that to come up, so I'm going to put a little hot glue right there and got a little screw right here and hold that down. Okay, so I still have this long piece on this side that we're going to connect to the other, but I thought I did bring a little bit of my beads out here. And I'm, I'm probably gonna put it on here. That way we can see on how long we need it to be. I like this up a little bit further. I'm gonna see if y'all like it. Instead of like having them all three the same length, I kind of like this one up a little bit more. So that way I don't have to worry about centering the back so perfect. Um, so y'all, I like it a little bit higher. Okay. All right, I uh, love it. We having fun, so don't worry about the time. I know, I love it. I could do it all. I think I'm going to make this craft for our anniversary on Valentine's Day. I forgot that y'all got married on Valentine's Day. All right, let me, see. let me look at it real quick, and then I'll show it to you once I... And the only reason I'm waiting on this part is we're going to put beads on it, and we'll see how long we like it. Let's see. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put... and I can tell my glue gun is just cutting off. All right, I'm probably gonna need some more of this. So let me change my battery out. This is why you need two batteries. <laughs> Nobody wants to stop. But it only takes 30 minutes to um, charge. So 
if you only get one battery, it's not the end of the world. Okay. And like I said, even with all three of these together with the jute on it, it's still really light. I really like that, y'all. Especially from a distance. I think it'll almost look like these are just, you know, I mean, you could put like maybe little tassels on the bottom of it. You could get, you could do all kind of stuff on it. Okay, so let's see which um, beads I like the best. I've, I've got some that are, we haven't really used the bigger ones in a while. Once we kind of just, I brought these out, but I think that the, it's going to be too far off. So I'm not going to do the like the, already like stained wood, but I've got these smaller ones, which is the one that I've got from Hobby Lobby. You can get these strings of them there. This is really like almost a whitewash because the the wood is almost coming through them. Um, I try to use, wait until stuff like this is 50% off from Hobby Lobby. Ugh, but it's a long string. But you can also buy them already stained. Now this one, and I had the tag on it. I don't know if, does that look like a Hobby Lobby tag, y'all? I think it may be. And it says it's $14.99, but it was part of the Christmas. So if it was a Hobby Lobby, I know I only paid probably $7.50 for them. And you really get a lot. You know, we've, we've uh, done a little bit because they're always the same length. You see, I've almost used half of them. So you get a good little amount. Um, but they're a little bit bigger and we haven't used the bigger ones in a while and it's got wood and the white. And the only reason why I'm not going to use this is because I think if I'd taken the time to do the wood one, the jute color, I would like it better, but I think it's just a little too far off. So we'll just do the smaller, just the plain white ones. I got engaged on Valentine's day 43 years ago. Oh my gosh. He asked me to marry him. On New Year's Eve, so it was a quickie plan wedding to be on Valentine's Day. A lot of people get married on Valentine's Day. I guess it makes it kind of easy for your husband to remember it, too. Um, up is good. Yeah, I like, Teresa, I like it up a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, I mean, um, I had a friend growing up, her birthday was on Valentine's Day, and I always thought that's got to kind of, then kind of like me with Christmas, you know, you're always getting them. But y'all, I don't know if I like just the white either. Let me look at the tan again, because I think I like it at least better. This just seems so big for this, but I'm really liking the... All right, we're just gonna, oh, let me see this one more time. If I broke it up with this. I'm trying to decide on the color. Let me see if you can see that. A color of the beads. Cause don't you think this is just too far off from this or do you think not? If I did like, Either or, you know, like, um, I don't know. I think I might like that, but I don't want anything to take away from the heart. And I think just the jute string would be fine, too. I'm just thinking we haven't done any kind of hanger thing in a while, so. And we're going from here to here. So it doesn't have to be long long okay i always cut it a little bit longer so that way you can tie it back that's just another one of those trial and errors for me or somebody might have mentioned it on here one day how it would make it easier to tie instead of trying to knot tie the bead around the end of them too because buying these beads and, and store keeping them on the string is what's awesome to me then you can put all of your beads in the same little bin together and you're not digging colors out. Like when I go in there, this is all just still on the string or the, the um, ones that are already brown are already on there. Brown, see, I'm liking, like the two-tone. See, I like the two-tone too, but then they're just the bigger ones. I don't know, y'all. I'm taking these out now, so 
we're stuck with them. If anything, when I put them on here, I could maybe every other one do a little bit of maybe my truffle color, which is just like in the Waverly chalk paint. Um, let's see what this is, y'all. Let's see what this looks like. This is just, uh, this is the antiquing. That's kind of like a stain. And let's see what it'll look like if we put just a little bit of brown on it. Maybe we can get it to that jute color. I'm all about the matchy-matchy, y'all even though it doesn't have to be matchy-matchy. But I will probably be here all day. But maybe if I do every other one, not too bad. Because you can wipe it off and they dry pretty fast. Uh, it's your thing, it will be beautiful anyway. Love the hearts. Looks like another Dollar Tree. <laughs> Dollar Store Tree. Okay, that's, that's closer. So maybe I'll do this. Just kind of washing it on here real quick and taking it off at the same time. So you're gonna have, you can almost see the white on my finger. So it'll be closer to the jute color. Okay, so. Um, I'm just separating them. All right, we'll have more whites than we have. So let's just really quick, just stain these. So it'll be two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. I'm probably gonna have it all over my fingers, but I'm not gonna worry about it. That way it'll be faster. Cause I don't want them too dark. So as soon as I'm putting them on here, it's almost just like it's just making them dirty. I'm taking it right off. This is probably where one of those baby wipes would probably be easier, but we don't have that. So, and I, I just keep forgetting. I don't even think I ever go in the aisle in the grocery store to even remind myself, you need some baby wipes. You see me in July with a buggy full of beads at Hobby Lobby. Hold your comments. I need beads. I'm not kidding you. It. I have a lot, but I think it's just because when I see them, I'm like um, thinking about like painting them. How you know it doesn't take forever, but it just it just seems like sometimes when I do, I need a lot of them. But I mean, I painted them for a long time, but. It is convenient to have them where you don't have to paint them, especially with this white. I mean, like you like you see, it's easy to change them to another color, but white you can use for just about any, white or black for any, any holiday now, because with the Buffalo and Rustic is in style, you can bless, uh, bless our hearts when it's not in style anymore. <laughs> Maybe when I retire to Alaska, you know, I'll just, I'm say, we, we need a log cabin. And then I can just craft. Because, you know, when it's not rustic looking, you have to measure and be precise. And it's not pretty just to have the, the rugged, you know, uh, burlap twine hanging off the end of it. It's just, I'm a, I'm a mourn it when it goes out of style. Let's see, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has baby wipes. I don't think I ever go in there, but I, I, I'll have to from now on. I'm sorry, but what did you use the baby wipes for? Well, okay, I have never used them for, but when, say, like I'm doing this right here, I've seen other crafters, because I watch all kind of craft and people. I love it. I even watch those people who make in the middle of the jungle, they make like pools on the ground. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> there's so, so many crazy videos that I don't know if you just watch and you're like, why do you watch this? But they would use like a baby wipe and the baby wipe was because it's wet. It helps you um, spread it and cover more area faster. 
But you ever seen those videos? They're like in the jungle, and they'll like make a pool out of the ground, and then they'll make this mud on the side of it, and like a bamboo roof. I'm so bad. I think I sat down one day for like 15 minutes and watched this guy make like a whole like above the ground pool out of some bamboo and some like termite stinky because that's you know isn't that what you make the the clay out of termite hills dollar tree cleaned my cricket mats i've watched a couple other crafters here and yours is the best oh you're so sweet i really do like all kind of crafters um i will admit if you are watching this and you scroll to the end sometimes you don't always like say the materials they're making um, you know, the materials, but you like the craft. I'll kind of like scroll to the end of it and see, you know, what the final product is. And if it's something like, then I'll watch it. Because, you know, it, not everybody's everybody's cup of tea. Sometimes I watch crafts and it's not that it's a bad craft. It's just I usually don't craft anything unless I feel like I'm going to put it up in my house. Like I don't just make a craft that, hey, just do this and I don't, I'm not going to use it. I always really like to do, that's why my crafts tend to be bigger, is because I'm going to use them in my house. But I do like to watch a lot of crafting people. Because um, some of them are just funny. Some of them are like me, they'll just be like, listen, I had a bad day. Like I watched one the other day and she had her pajama clothes on. And there have been a many a nights when I didn't have to work that I'd have like maybe my pajama pants on. And I thought, gosh, I'm just... I was going wear my pajama pants. She was like, listen, y'all, I done had a rough day, but I want to craft, so if you've got a problem with my pajamas, just turn them. It, I, some people are just so funny. She could sit across and be doing this with you and these other ladies. I know, it makes it so fun. Um, you know how people do those painting parties and all that? I'm like, they need to do crafting parties because I, I don't know who out there, if they like to craft alone, but I hate hate crafting alone. I mean, I almost want to beg people, you know, like before now, oh, come on, come do this. And you don't want to take all your supplies to somebody else's house. And you know, you always forget something. I do here, and it's just right in the other room. But with all y'all, it just seems like you're right here crafting with me. That's what I'm saying. Some nights at 730, just get your craft out. Um, kind of like them Zoom calls, and it's like we'll just be sitting across from each other um, doing our crafts, and we can all do something different and still get ideas from each other. I do that late. <laughs> yeah, I scroll through and see if it's something I like and then go back. and. But, I mean, I think everybody should do that. Like, say if somebody starts to watch this. And they're like, oh, you know, the, I don't put anything up for Valentine's Day. Don't sit here and watch all this long hour of me running my mouth if it's not something you're going to do. Because, um, like I said, I, I, there's no, I've never had a crafter. There are some that I like all a lot more of their crafts than others. But, um, I, um... Uh, I love it, but I really do like to watch the ones that finish a craft, not just kind of give you the idea. I tried that one night with Bless Your Heart and all that to, you know, give you multiple ideas, but yet not finish them, and then they're all, like, really ugly because you haven't finished anything. You're just kind of given the idea of something, and then you move on. No, I do not like doing that because then I went back, and I was like, what did I do tonight besides precious here <laughs> she's got to make our crafts good and if you've never seen this is bless your heart she is our, our uh sins Ben's mascot she is a pick that i made one night and these sweet ladies on here didn't say the whole night what in the world are you making they just sat there and said oh yeah i like that and when then i just kept looking at it like who could sat here and watch that <laughs> I'm getting all the laughies and hearts. Everybody loves bless your heart. And now she blesses all our crafts so they won't look like her. Okay, that's all of them. And you do get it on your fingers. But even though this is kind of a stain or antique, it's just like paint. It comes off your hands. I just happen to have it on here just about every day. But yes, we love bless your heart. She is, she is our, our best friend. 
You come on, but I watched one more. Yeah, I, I, I listen, watch multiple ones. You know, you don't always have to follow some. Oh, yeah, that's bless your heart. Yes. Um, you don't always have to watch them, but just every now and again, if you, if you follow along and somebody seems to, like I said, I follow a lot. And some of them, I don't know what's up with my Facebook, but here lately, it's not alerting me a lot of times when people go live. I don't know if y'all have that problem with my craft. Hold on, let me um, do a little knot right here. If y'all have that problem with mine not always notifying you, but there's some that it does. I know, and I make sure that I'm still following them, but it doesn't always alert me. You know, Facebook is 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 another bless your heart. You know, Facebook. I enjoy listening to you and your accent. Reminds me of family in Missouri. Um, yes, the accent. I wish I could hear all of y'all, especially the ones that probably say rough. Y'all probably think I'm hilarious because I forget about my accent. I forget about my accent until somebody says, if they're like, where are you from? And I'm like, George, and they're like, oh, I, I bet you've got an accent. Um, like, I love the game Clash of Clans, which my husband, he laughs at me because I love it. And you just have chat on there with, like, your little teammates. And, you know, we always say, where are you from? And things like that. And um, and they're always like, George, I bet you have an accent. I'm like, yes, I do. A thick one, too. Loved you kept bless your heart include her in all your crafts. I need her. I really do think that our crafts we've been really lucky since um we started uh since since her to not have any more quite since I, I don't think they've been quite as bad. They might be somebody that says, Well, you remember when you made so and so the other day? You have to keep resetting your notifications. Oh, okay. I didn't know you had to reset. I thought once you just followed somebody. You should hear mine. I am from Boston. Bop. See, y'all, and it's hilarious for as country as I am to hear me try to have an accent like Boston. Y'all say, put, you, put it in the car. Y'all don't say ours. It's one of them that doesn't say ours or doesn't. I don't know. Roof. Roof is the funniest one because one time I, they were like, we just say roof. And I was like, well, when the song comes on the radio, the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. Or, we, you know, how do y'all chant that? Like when you were young and, and in like a, a ball game, we would all say the roof, the roof is on fire. Do you say the roof, the roof is on fire? That's so funny to me, but I know my uh, accent is hilarious, especially if you live in Boston. Y'all, uh, pop the car. I can't even say it. Having a Southern person try to have a uh, Boston accent is probably even funnier. I really like this, y'all. I'm kind of glad that y'all made me do the multicolor because I think it's really... And, and because we just, uh, and I'll show you in a minute, um, because we just wiped it on and wiped it off, they're not all, it's, it's almost marbled kind of looking. This is why I like to have the like whitewashed beads like this. There's no polyurethane, anything to make them shiny. So, um, they just stained really well, but that way if you have the white ones, even if you buy several strands, uh, like Easter, we could put a little bit of orange on them, you, you know, in the summertime, anything. They'll just paint really well too. But hopefully, because they are so popular, we'll be able to get a string that's, I do have some red because, you know, with Christmas, Coming up, they have a lot of red. Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna get anything through that one. It's like the hole wasn't put in there right. Um, pop the car, laugh at the car. Pop the car. Remember when she said that on, um, but that's kind of like a Australian accent when she said it on Days of Thunder. Let me out of the car. Did you get the car? <laughs> 
Nothing wrong with that South Georgia accent. I forgot I have it too until someone asked. Yes, and, and I, there's five of us. I have four sisters, and for whatever reason, the one that's closest to me, I'm the baby. Um, they say hers is even thicker than all of ours. I have family in Boston. They are hard to understand, but I love them. Yes, and I was a police officer when I pulled over a car you have to call it in their tag my lieutenant asked me the license plate because i dragged out the uh wrong the word tag like it tag <laughs> oh i could say license plate quicker uh i see what you're saying do you say out in the like hold on in the Backyard? Do you say out in the the yard? The yard? The yard? Is, it, is that supposed to be the yard? Like the? <laughs> the yard? The yard? Um, no. Yard out in the yeah. Well, yeah. The the yard. We do say a lot of things fast. And um, let me see if I can get look. One side of this bead is not letting me go through, and I've already got this out, so I'm going to try this. <sighs> Make it might have worked. Um, out in the yard. Is that supposed to be the, the yard? The yard. Door yard. What, I don't know what door yard is. What is do, door yard? I mean, is that like a location? All I say is go outside. <laughs> go outside. Okay, I'm going to push these together. I hate when you hang these and it kind of splits like this. And it happens if you don't really push them. That's why I put a knot on this side so I can push it. It won't hurt the wood. And really get a, a tight little knot on the end. That way I, it won't separate like that. Front yard. The front yard, yeah. Where are you from, Kathy? Oh, I'm from Waynesburg, Georgia, which is about 20 minutes south of Augusta, where the Masters are in Georgia. It's probably about halfway down the state, right on the border between Georgia and South Carolina, uh, right below um, Augusta. Okay, that is the hanger to hang it on, and then we did it right at the one side, okay. All right, and I went through the front. So we've got to get our little, all right, I may have to do this again. Let me not try to break it this time. Make it a little bit bigger with a screw. That'll be the only advice I give y'all on this is like, if you want two of your juke to go through, if you know it ahead of time, use your drill and make that particular hole just a little bit bigger. But you see, like I did to work with it, not too bad. Okay. So, that's what we're looking at so far. I like it. And y'all are gonna think it's hilarious what I have to go on the front of it, but let's hope that I got the right paint out because I couldn't decide. I had two options. Now you don't have to go through these little holes. You can just like, you know how we put uh, like a piece of ribbon or something on the back of it, but I had these holes, so I'm like, why not use them? Bird dog capital of the world, it sure is. Even though we really, I think they still have the field trials here, but not like they did when I was a little girl. It was a pretty big thing where they, Kind of like you think a fox hunt. They have like, they follow dogs and they have competition to see how well they point at a bird and everybody's on their horses and it really is pretty awesome. If you think about like a fox hunt in England, except we don't kill anything. 
It's just a bird dog finds a bird, like maybe like a quail or something in the ground, and he points at it, and like they're judged on how well they point. Well, tons of people follow these dogs on horseback because it's all out in the country. It really, I don't know if it sounds like a country bonking thing. I wish you could experience it because it was pretty awesome when I was a little girl. Because now, I think if they do have them, they're not as many. But when I was a little girl, I mean, you had, oh, God, it seemed to me as a little girl, hundreds of horses out there. But it probably wasn't hundreds, but it was a lot. And you, you, you would go down different trails on all this beautiful land. And I just, I wish you, my kids could experience it. But, okay, y'all, I'm loving this, loving this. Give me some hearts if you love it. Now, I have one thing here that I also got at the Dollar Tree. And this is not really, it's kind of supposed to look like wood, but it's that pressed cardboard, and it's pretty thick. I thought this would look pretty against it as really just as I would cut the tag in it. Well, I can cut the tag off so you can see which one you like better. Even though this is a little bit bigger than it, I still liked it. And normally I like to paint these things. Um, but I thought it was really cute just the way it is because it's got some kind of faux wood on the front of it. Just kind of like, even if it was like at an angle or not so much an angle there, you could do it straight across. I kind of like it slightly tilt. I love that. Even though it's a little bit bigger than the, um, y'all, this mirror is going to mess me up. Okay, like that. Um, that, or if you remember yesterday, our love, I thought it would be pretty to trace just the love on here because I, I, now I haven't gotten all this stuff off the back of it. I don't think it'll be that hard. That is gorgeous. Super. We are running the first story on this year's field trials in the issue of The True Citizen this week. All right. Yeah, I mean... Y'all, when I was a little girl, it was so awesome. And I think it's still really great now. I just think, you know, lots of things that have to do with horses and all that just aren't as big here as it used to be. But to see the dogs and all that is beautiful. And I remember my uncle, um niece used to have a horse, and I think it was just horse. What did he name those horses? Tater pie? Love the X's. Yeah, I really like the X's and O's, too. I think this would be really cute. I mean, I'm not saying use this. It, even though I guess you could, I would say maybe paint it brown. Um, but you could also just use it to stain it. But I think I'm liking the X's and O's. And like I said, there's nothing I have to do to it. Because even though it's not real wood, they kind of put like little lines on the front of it. You see? And it's really close to the... Um, the burlap like I could put a little bit more of this antiquing on it and it would get it a little bit more but I just like it like this okay we'll go with that now this once again if you hang this on your door or something like this this is it's not real light so just to give you some more support I would put a little e6000 on the back of it and um see I like it just slightly just slightly a little bit crooked. I don't know why, because it'll probably somebody will probably say, you know, that's a little crooked. But I just kind of like it, a, a just a tied cattywampus. Let me see what it looks like straight. Yeah, I kind of like it cattywampus here. Okay, so I'm gonna put my glue. I'm gonna put a heavy little amount on it. And remember, this hot glue gun gets pretty hot, so I got a little bit of time. But if you use like a regular glue gun, you're gonna have to do it pretty fast. X is no tilted, yes. Yeah, I like the tilted just a little bit. I mean, it's not tilted really far, but I think it's because the X is bigger over here. It's already kind of off balance. So, I'm loving that. X's and O's. And for what I understand, I think they had maybe a love. I think they had two more words. Now, X's and O's is all they had left when I went out there. And they had two, and I bought the last two. Um, <laughs> but I think when I lived on their website, they had maybe love and something else. 
Um, so, uh, if you go, I think love, you know, I, I just like them. They all have this same texture on it. I think it would be, that it would look gorgeous with either one of them. All right, now I want to put a little messy bow at the top, but we just have to see it. Um, to see, and I just grab like a piece of this. Because I didn't, I think a bow would take away from it, and this may may take away from it too. But let's see, like a little tiny bow maybe in the corner. Uh, I mean, little tiny messy bow is what I meant. And I grabbed a little bit of just some of this. And then I have some that has a little, almost like snow speckles on it. But it, but it still doesn't look Christmassy. It just kind of looks a little bit uh, like winter time. This, and we only used this once, and I think the night that we used it, it's got like the little specks in it, is the night we made Bless Your Heart too. I don't think I've used it since then. So, yes, DollarTree.com, I think is the website. Yes, and um, yeah, you can just Google Dollar Tree and it'll it'll take you to it. Um, you just usually have to buy a lot of something. Um, let's see, it seems like I grabbed a little bit of ribbon. Now this has black on the edge, but I can always take that off. Yeah, it's it, like if you're going to use a lot, like the fall, I really love their ribbon in the fall. So I really, I, I bought like 36 of them because it had a black and white buffalo check, which I could have used at Christmas also. And I probably have a third of it left and, 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 and I love to use it. It's not the best in the world, but it was like really good filler um, ribbon. It was just really pretty. The Valentine's Day ribbon was really, really cute in the Dollar Tree. Christmas was not cute at all. They had really, none of it was wired except the glitter ribbon. But the, the Valentine's Day was really cute. I've not seen any of the Easter ribbon left. Um, let's see. Uh, one your great fine hearts on your mantle wreath would look um, awesome on this. It sure would. You know, with, especially with the burlap on it. Just in the center. Like I said, y'all, to me, this was super cute. Even without this. Just with the hearts. Nothing says you have to write words on it because the heart is your representation of Valentine's Day. So even if you just put this on here and put like a really cute ribbon, I don't think you would have had to put anything in the center. And like you said, you could have put one of those little tiny, I wish I hadn't already glued it down. We could have just put one even with the burlap not on it. Uh, let's see. Let's put a little bit of this twine in here, this white twine. All right, now we'll, and I just crisscrossed it. You know, we learn how to make these messy bows. You just take a bunch of stuff and you crisscross it. We, I used a couple pieces of just plain burlap and then the burlap with the white speckle, a plain just uh, like a linen ribbon and then the white jute. And I'm just gonna take that and tie it together in the center, and once you pull it together, it kind of clenches it. And to me, the more you put this on here, the more ribbons and stuff you use, the, the bigger it is, it's, it's really cute. You can make them, and just you, you can just use a tiny little bit and make them really tiny. They're cute too. I don't know whoever came up with this, but it was like, it's like perfect. I think somebody may have started it that couldn't tie bows but it's extremely cute. Like on the back, I'm just gonna kinda cut these, the length of it, since I already have those other two pieces in it. So, we just have us a little bow. And that way I don't think it'll take part. And I'm gonna do it on the same, for some reason, and I don't know if this is some kind of, 
I like it better on the side that has the big X. Like this is the side that it starts. You think it would look cuter over here because that's the side that you don't have that much on, but for whatever reason, it looks cute over here. I'm just gonna put some hot glue right on my board and stick that right on there. I don't wanna put it too close to the X so you'll be able to see what it is, X's and O's. One, your great my hearts, yes. There's a t-shirt company online that sells a t-shirt with a tomato sandwich and a mayonnaise jar on the back of the shirt. It says, hold on, it says something about tomato sandwiches and being from the South. You need one. I do, because girl, I, I did low carb one year. And you know, bread, you gotta have like the white bread, like just the most fat in bread. I don't know about, and I don't eat wheat bread and all that. Can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> um, your dad's uniform's out of the dryer, but I want to stay and see how it finishes. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll hurry up. Um, but, um, yes, nothing like a tomato sandwich, but I was, like, doing low carbs, and finally I was like, I'm just going to have to ruin this because you cannot go through a summer without a tomato sandwich. Okay, I'm hoping, you know, every time I put this up, my glue hadn't dried yet, so I want to give it a second, so... It won't fall off. But yes, give me some hots if you like it because I think it turned out super, super cute. And like I said, it's not really kind of pink and white, red or something in your face. It's really cute. This probably could have been a tad shorter. If I would have made it a little bit shorter, it wouldn't have been that bad. But, you know, if it always bothers me, I can go in there and take it out and make it a tad shorter. But... I think it's really cute. So we'll put it, let's see, you can see this side, can't you? See, I can just put it on my little nail that has this up here. Even though I'm fixing to probably knock that off. But it'll go with that cute. Or, you know, you don't really have to use your hanger. Let's see if I can tilt this up. And I can just put it below my girls. Ah, I like that. I really like the hanger, but you know me, I don't always have anywhere to hang it. But thanks for, so much for sticking with me, y'all, tonight. I had a really good time uh, talking about all our eating. And if tomorrow I get a chance to go to, um, thank you. Uh, you are too hard on yourself. It's beautiful. Um, thank you. Um, if I get a chance to go, I may go get all of our tomato sandwiches and we'll have to try all that. Because I, I want to try this peanut butter thing now. I don't know how it's going to be, but it can't be the end of the world. So bananas and mayonnaise. We're going to try it. Uh, thank you so much. All right, that looks really nice there on the mantle. Yeah, I think it is. Because last night when I was doing it, I started to say, gosh, it looks kind of bare underneath them. So I'm kind of glad it fits there perfect. Thank y'all so much. And I will see y'all tomorrow night.